Let's see now what we have created until now and what screens left to implement. So first of all, we have finished building the home screen and the back layer for it. And we have finished building the feed screen. But what left to do is to add the up bar in here. And once the user press on this icon, a dialog will appear. We didn't build yet the search and it will look later like this but we have finished building the card screen so once the user add an item to his card the screen will appear and if the list is empty another screen will appear let me show you again so this screen will appear and we didn't add yet this widget and the account or user screen and we need to add the product details screen so this screen so now let's start implementing the wishlist the screen let's see how it looks so this is the empty wishlist screen and let's see the full wishlist screen so I will add an item to the favorite so here it is if the user delete it for sure the screen will appear again so first of all let's create a new file in the widget just like we did for the card so I will initialize or create a new file called wishlist underscore empty dot dart and I will copy the cart empty screen or widget and I will paste that in here and to change the name so wishlist empty and we need to change the image and I already added a new image for that so this one I will copy the path from here and paste it instead of this one this text will be this one and we need to change this text also so this text also I will paste it in here and we need to change this icon for example add a wish just like this and I will add a new screen called wishlist the dart and I will copy it from the card screen in here paste it in here we don't need this widget and we know we don't need the bottom sheet for it let's delete this and this list let's change the name of this list uh, to wish list like this and if it's empty we need to now show the wishlist empty screen this one if not let's show just a container so as a body in here let's show a container just like this we need to change the name of the class so wishlist screen and let's change the route name to wishlist screen also let's go to the main file and copy this and in here call the wishlist screen let's copy it and paste it in here just like this so now to see these changes on the screen let's add the widget in here the user bag widget so for that let's head to the user info screen 
and let's search for the user information this one and let's copy this and we need to add it above it so I will paste it again in here and use change this to bug just like this let's save it so here it is and the wishlist and the card widgets are very similar to this one but it contain a chevron in here so I will just copy the this widget so let's copy this and paste it there two times so one in here and let's change this first and we can copy again copy it again and here it should be the wish list we don't need the subtitle and as a leading we will use for this one I will use the icons or my app icons dot heart or wishlist and let's add a trailing of icons or icon icons dot chevron right or this one let's save it so it appeared like this and let's copy it and paste it again and it changes this to cart and it changes this to cart just like this now we need to add the function for each one and instead of these two brackets in here let's return a navigation method so navigator dot of context I will use in here the push named because I have already added the route in here and in here let's give it its route just like this let's save it okay let's I will restart it so here it is let's try the dark seam you can add some margin and padding between them as you wish in the next video we will implement this screen the full wishlist screen so see you in the next video